welcome to DLB Halloween. I brought back one of my most loved characters, my music box doll, which was my Face Awards final look. You asked and I listened, so I hope you all love her. She's pretty magical. Be sure to smash that subscribe button right now and share with friends to show love. And now, let's jump right into the look. All right, so to start your look, you're going to want to prime your skin so that you can really protect it and keep it from getting any paint into the pores. And you're going to want to bring your primer down onto your chest as well. This is what I did for my look, which created a really smooth base for my body. I'm next going to block out my brows just using a glue stick. And here you can see my process. I like to really move them up onto the forehead, brush them up with a spoolie, and then I go over with another layer of glue. And then I go in with a really heavy concealer. I'm using the Sensual skin enhancer here by Kevin Aquan and then I'm going in with a white cream paint. This is really opaque, it's very white and gives you a doll-like porcelain finish. For my doll, I really wanted my skin to look like porcelain and cream paint is the way to go. So I'm just really packing this on, getting it nice and opaque. And what I love about this paint is it's not overly white. It is like porcelain. It doesn't look clowny, it just looks like a perfect doll color. And here I'm going to apply some black eyeliner to my lid and smoke out those eyes using a black eyeshadow. You really want to over exaggerate them a lot. I went over it with the purple shadow to smoke it out all the way up into the brow and you really want to wing this out as well because it's going to elongate your eyes and make them look really big like a doll's. To brighten up the whole look and make it really fun and girly, I popped it with a hot pink eyeshadow right at the base of the brow. And we're going to be drawing on our brows, so don't worry about that. Go right over your natural brow area and this is going to create those doll eyes. Here I'm applying some glitter. I'm using black glitter. I wanted a really vintage feel for my doll, so I used a lot of really vampy shades. Here I'm just fixing up that glitter using a spoolie, which is a really nice trick to get it nice and sharp, and just blending in with some black shadow over that. So here I'm gonna go ahead and do the brows. I was really inspired by Tim Burton brows on a lot of his characters, and I do this a lot to my characters. I like to wing up the brow, and it creates almost like a sad or confused look, which I think is really cute for this doll. I was going for a very vintage, very film look for my doll. I wanted it to look like a silent film character, something like that, and that's exactly what these brows kind of give, just that confused, sad, cute look. I love it. <laughs> So here I'm just highlighting under the brow and then going in with a pink eyeshadow to blend that out a little bit. You don't want it too, too bright. I wanted to apply some mascara and huge lashes. These are not the exact lashes I used for my Face Awards final look. These are actually from Spirit Halloween and I put black mascara all over them. They're actually silver, but you can't tell when you apply the mascara and they're perfect, just like the ones I wore. So here we're gonna start creating that lower lash line that looks a lot like most dolls' eyes. You want it to look really, really over exaggerated. This is gonna distinguish that you are a doll when your waterline is really white. You don't wanna go too far down or it can be a little too much. You wanna go far down enough that you can create another lash line, which is what I'm doing here with a dark purple eyeshadow. I'm lining right up against that white eyeliner and this is gonna make my eyes look really big like the whites of my eyes are extended. I'm going over that with the purple eyeshadow and just smoking that out. And don't be afraid to really bring this down pretty far. This is gonna give sort of a dreary effect to the doll and make it look a little bit more dark. So we're gonna go in with our foundation brush and blend all that out. You want this to be sort of a distressed lower lash line, really smoky and slightly lilac purple. Like a soft lavender purple. And I wanted to go over that with a hot pink eyeshadow to really bring that color back in. Now we're going to pop on the lower lash line lashes. These are just lashes I cut up and they're pretty thick. You really do not want to skip this step. This is going to make your eyes look even bigger and more cartoon-like, much like a doll. And you want to extend them towards the outer corner of your eye, way past where you would normally put them. Here I'm going to be lining that out with a black eyeshadow and you just want to extend the eye overall. So make sure that you're applying your lashes and your shadow a lot in the outer corners of your eye and winging it out. Here I'm dusting on some glitter. I'm using a beautiful holographic glitter for this. I'm applying it under the eyes and bringing it onto the cheeks, sort of like the look of wet skin or tears. I wanted this to look really glossy underneath those eyes so when it caught the light it would really, really sparkle. I used tons of glitter for a lot of my looks, especially in the face awards, so I didn't want to skip this in my final look. So now I'm going to pop on the stars. I really wanted to add some whimsical 
really sparkly stars to this look, so I added some small ones, medium size, and also some really pretty pink ones that went well with the eye makeup. Now I'm gonna pop on some blush. You wanna make this really weird face and your apples on the cheeks will really pop out and you can really dust that blush right on the front of them much like a doll. Dolls have really round cheeks. Kinda creepy, but uh, that's what we're going for. So now we're going to contour the nose using a purple eyeshadow and then you just wanna kinda dust over the top with a white powder so you lock everything in and really smooth it out. You don't want it to be too, too purple. Just a nice contour there. For the lips, I am using a dark purple lipstick to create these little bow tie, cute little lips. I went over it with a more wine color that was more true to the color I wore in my final look. And then I dusted over the violet glitter. This is more so of like a matte glitter, which was really nice because it didn't overpower the eyes. Just dusted that all over the lips using a brush. You want to really pack that in. And here I'm just cleaning up those lips. Now we're going to move on to the body. So for my look, I painted my whole body from head to toe. And I painted myself white using a cream paint. I wanted to do the sockets on my knees and also my shoulders. But for this look, if you're going out for Halloween, you really only need to do your shoulders since you're not in a competition. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm using a water activated paint here to create the sockets of a doll, like a doll would have. These are like little ball sockets. I'm just filling in around the shoulders first with that black paint. And you can go pretty thick with this because we are going to shade it out and make it look really three-dimensional. As you can see here, I'm just using a black eyeshadow to do that. I'm going up against the corner edges of the ball socket. And you want to create that space there where it looks like the ball is sitting into the shoulder. So shade out from the lines you create just using that black shadow until you shade into the white and it gets really, really light. It just has to look really nice and gradient. You can never get too much shading in. Never. And for this look, I went crazy with it. I had to get my shading perfect. So take your time and you'll get the perfect shading. All right, so now you're gonna highlight that ball socket using a white cream paint. And you're gonna go really heavily with this because you want it to pop out, like really, really, really pop out. Very three-dimensional looking. And that's what I did here. I'm just kind of lining that out really close to that black water activated paint. And then you wanna go up against it with a brown eyeshadow. And you don't wanna shade the whole thing, you just wanna kind of lightly shade around it. So it casts a shadow much like a doll would have. I took that same brown shadow and started to go up against the ball sockets and the shoulders, and then highlight the center of it using that white cream paint again, just to bring that highlight back in. You can really, really highlight that out. Just for a finishing touch, I went with some black shadow just up against that brown to create some depth and dimension. Get that highlight in, yes! All right, so now I stuck on some stars, really similar to the pattern I have going on on my face. And then it was time for the wig. I was obsessed with this wig, oh my gosh. I mean, it's so vintage, it is perfect. I am so in love with it. I, I can't even explain, I love it. So I went in and teased it and I put on my little hat, which I love. I was going for really pretty vintage um, black and white look, but with pops of pink. So that's what you guys see here and I love this look. I popped in my circle lenses. I wanted my eyes to look really big. Circle lenses are definitely needed for this look. And I popped on some glitter literally all over my body. Just dump it all over you. <laughs> and then I popped on my gloves. I did paint my hands for this look, but since this is just for Halloween, you don't have to paint your hands. All right, everybody, I hope you loved, loved my music box doll look. This was my final look for the Face Awards. I absolutely love this look, and I hope you guys thought it was super magical. If you do, be sure you like this video, subscribe for more, and I will see you in my next Halloween tutorial.